I'm Odo Ayewini. I work as the co-founder, chief operations officer of Piggy Bank, uh, which re recently rebranded to Piggy Vest. Piggy Vest is a platform that allows Nigerians to put aside a little amount of money towards the target and then eventually have the opportunity to invest in various instruments. I work in tech. I have a background in computer engineering from Covenant University. I graduated in July 2013 and um, I was on my way back from a job interview about two weeks after graduation and my co-founder now kind of just leaned out of the window maybe because he had seen me passing and just like yelled, how do I come inside? And then I went inside to go check out what they were working on and I just decided to join them. Six months after that, myself and that co-founder um, started Push CV and then the rest of our co-founders joined. That's what we worked on from 2014 until the end of 2015. Um, by the time we started Piggy Bank, Push CV was a mature startup and now it has been managed by a separate team and they have their own office, they have everything and so. To be honest, it was literally off of someone's tweet, right? It's not, I will not say that it was not a burning desire to help people save their finances or anything like that. Someone tweeted that she broke a wooden box and she saved 1,000 naira there every day for 365 days. And my co-founder, Josh, it's like he sent the tweet to our WhatsApp group and it's like, guys, people are doing this thing. Nigerians are using savings boxes. What can we do around it? I think that our company right now is playing a very key role in um, financial freedom. Not for I wouldn't say poverty alleviation as a whole, but we are able to try to modify people's behavior to do more saving. What we're trying to do is teach people. Right? We are teaching them budgetary knowledge and budgetary intelligence. When we started to work on Piggy Bank, it became super apparent just how much people needed to save. We did the research after we started kind of putting the cart before the horse, but it turns out that in Nigeria, like the bulk of the money that is held in banks is owned by only 2% of the population. That like when you drill down into it, it means that 80% of people who live in this country need to save at least 40%, 20 to 40, based on whatever your income levels are, to be able to live normal lives. It turns out that this product was so timely for use, right? You know, when people talk about underserved people, they usually think people who are super poor and they are underserved, but youth that have smartphones, that earn salaries, supposedly, are also underserved. I guess Piggy Vest now is a digital financial management platform. The aim is to help Nigerians better manage their finances by providing transparency and clarity. What inspires me um, is cheesy, but family. I'm, I'm super into my family, my dad, my mom, my siblings. Um, they, they believe in me so much that it's hard not to believe in myself. So every day I wake up motivated. The philosophies that have shaped me and my mindset, um, I got from TV shows, sorry. <laughs> For women who like are uh, Coming into the tech space, I will say that when you want to get started, you need to be sure of what you want to do and then you need to listen to yourself more. Um, the challenges I face as a woman in tech is usually, well, at least were usually people doubting my ability. If you are in a pocket of the woods somewhere in Nigeria and something is a problem, it is almost 100% certain that technology and fix it, right? It is boundless and it is infinite and it is frankly the best thing to happen to humanity. And for women, it's just a matter of taking an interest and breaking out of the conditioning. Tech can do practically anything when applied the right way, right? Um, in the next five to 10 years, I see us being the one-stop shop for financial services for millennials and the generations that come after them. When this generation thinks about financial services, they will think we best. That's our mission.
um, how do we give back to the community? We're a savings platform and our entire shtick is financial literacy and financial freedom. So wherever it is we're invited to, to talk about helping people be, um, be on the path to financial freedom, we're there. When people say be my mentor, I, I, don't, I don't think that I'm old enough or experienced enough to be anybody's mentor, but I also get it when girls especially say be my mentor because they're the dearest of role models. So the first thing I tell you is, look, I don't know many things. Like, there's a lot of things I don't know. There is a lot of things that I will Google to get you the answer. But I can promise to get you the answer and I can promise to work with you to get the answer. So I believe that mentorship is a thing where you guys work together, not a thing where someone just like gives you the answer. If you're willing to do the work as a girl who's coming into tech, it is imperative and important to have someone who has experience to guide you on that path. And they're like, if anywhere that is a pool of mentors, you should be there to try to get assigned to one. Right, so um, Tech Plus has an amazing mentorship program and I think that girls who are trying to get into technology should join and talk to like-minded people who've been through that journey.